If money earns 3.5% simple interest, let's calculate and compare the value today of the following payment streams. Let's try to set up some time diagrams to represent our two payment streams. And recall that we do want today as the focal date, so I'm going to mark that with a red star. For payment stream number one, we have a payment of $1,700 due in 80 days. and a payment of 1,100 due in 150 days. For payment stream number two, we have our first payment in 30 days, and that payment is $900. Our second payment is 75 days, and that payment is $800. And then our final payment happens around the 125 day mark, and that's going to be $1,000. Let's consider stream one first. We have two payments. We have one of $1,700 that we need to get to today's focal date, and we have one of $1,100 that we also need to move to today's focal date. Let's turn this into a three-step process. Let's first Calculate the principal amount of a future value of $1,700. Two, calculate the principal amount of a future value of $1,100. And then three, add these up to get the fair market value of this stream of payments today. Evaluating number one first, we're going to take our future value of $1,700 and divide by 1 plus RT. The rate is always going to be 3.5% simple interest, and in this case, the time variable can be expressed as 80 over 365. Simplifying that expression, we get $1,687.75. Let's repeat this procedure for part two. Here we have a future value of 1,100, taking the same rate and updating our time variable to 150 over 365. Simplifying that expression, we get $1,084.40. The last step in order to calculate the fair market value today of the first payment stream is to add up 1 and 2. So taking our 1,084.40 and our 1,687.06, adding them together gives us a fair market value of $2,771.46. So I've gone ahead and I've marked that over on the left here underneath S1. Let's focus our attention now on payment stream two. We have three payments. We have a payment of $900, a payment of $800, and finally a payment of $1,000. We're gonna use a similar procedure here, finding the principal amount or present value of our $900 first, followed by our $800, and then our $1,000 last. And if we add all of these up, we should be able to get the fair market value today of this payment stream. All of our calculations are going to be very similar to the two that we just did, so let's try to do all three of them at the same time. For our first step, we need to take our $900 at the rate of 3.5% and our time step of 30 days out of 365. This gives a value of $897.42. Next, the present value or principal amount of our $800 should be $794.29. And then finally, for our $1,000 payment, we're looking at $988.16. So our last step here is just to add up all of our three previous amounts 
and we get $2,679.87. So let's go ahead and zoom into our time diagram so we can see how to compare these two payment streams. So stream one has a fair market value of $2,771.46. Stream two has a fair market value of $2,679.87. If this was a payment stream that was paying us, instead of us paying back a bank or something like that, we'd probably prefer stream number one. However, if these were payments that we had to make to somebody else, we'd probably prefer stream number two, since it's the lesser of the two.